Hello everyone, finally I finished my base that is a pyramid here on Seven Days to Die and I really want to show you what I did mostly underground because this here above it's basically a trap for zombies I fought a few zombies a while ago outside but I left these holes open and not with doors and why? because I want you to see this they will be attracted because they will know i'll be underground and they will fall into the pit of death so mostly we'll break their legs and fall down on those spikes so i can fight them easily and above here it's the same thing but prettier so i did a few things for the zombies i like to stuff pretty for the zombies and they will eventually fall down here I shot a few of the glasses a while ago so it's easier for them to fall down there it's not hard to make this design to be honest the hardest part is to get to craft so many blocks I like to play around with ramps on this game. There's a glitch here. This piece of land it's around here and it doesn't go away. This a uh, terrain thing and sometimes it doesn't let me pass through. This is the main entrance of the pyramid, okay? The safe entrance of course. And I did these ramps in order to be able to move to go inside with my mini bike that is here, kind of stuck. And I'm outside of this thing. Okay. This is all yellow inside. So this is the main entrance. The main area where you will be fighting the zombies. Face to face. So they will fall down here. And you can hit them with a bat. Or with a fire weapon of course. And there are four chests around here. This is not the main loot chest. The main loot is all the way underground and why because i want here to have the basic stuff to repair these things while fighting the zombies if i have easy access to some materials i will be able to repair things that zombies will keep damaging until i kill them around here so it, it makes things faster and easier for me And there are four little ways to go down. If you are here, you don't have to run around, you just can access quickly through here. And this is the second room, also to fight the zombies, because I've seen a few videos from other YouTubers that make some kind of designs and you can fight zombies under okay under them and i hope this really works i think they make with different pillars i'm not sure but at least to shoot a few bullets through without having to damage your structures let's go down to entrances here and this is the main room all the crates the important stuff is here and i think it's a cozy it's a really cool to be down here chilling out while waiting for the next horde of zombies but to protect better your stuff you always have to fight against them you don't if you don't want them to destroy everything and go to your main area also this is made of hood but i added a second layer of a cement of reinforced concrete under it. So now let's test this base against the zombies. I'm gonna spawn hordes to come here and see if they are attracted and just fall down on the pit. Alright, let's see if they fall down on the trap.
this one already died before I tried to kill her. <laughs> I think through here, I think this is too high for me. I can't hit them with the bat. The good thing of this is that you can access to the zombies loot without having to do much. You just reach here and you can access their bodies. They are in a mess trying to kill me. easy to fix stuff and to access zombies loot. I've noticed there's one good and one bad thing with this uh, design. So the good thing is that you will still be well protected while uh, trying to fight the zombies. Uh, the bad thing is that not every zombie, okay, not every horde of zombies, the entire will uh, fall down into the pit, so a couple of them will fall down, others will stay outside trying to destroy your stuff through the other side where you can get in. Okay, through that side, so some zombies will attack this, others will attack this side and try to get in, but I still think it is a pretty cool design. Probably trying to build a smaller pyramid or a pyramid where the holes were like down here they will still go up okay it's just this entrance probably I should put a hatch around here or here closer and not uh, this type of entrance because they know these will be directly go down to meet me so they will still try to attack this area mostly instead of coming here but and probably if you want more to go down and, and fall on the pit, you should not build these spikes around here. But this is a big help still. And if they destroy something, if they destroy a few blocks here, they still have a really long way to go until they find you down there, okay? 
Tell me what you think about this design or the idea behind it. And thanks a lot for watching.